Welcome to a What's Sold video. Um, it's Monday morning, so we're going to go through everything that sold over the weekend. That would be Friday through Monday morning, and we just had one sale to start off the morning, um, which is encouraging. It's been a slow? little bit slow. Yeah. We slow had for ten, sales. Yeah, we had 10 sales over the weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then this morning makes 11. Um, which was a good one. Yeah. It's a good one. What did you text me? You said, you said something in the text. You were like, I don't know. what did I say? I said, what did you say? Good sale. She said, good I sale. said, good sale. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you I was said, like, indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hadn't seen the sale come through. So I was like, yes, that's mm -hmm. great. Moving things along. Uh, because on Friday we went to a, uh, kind of a private pick. You have to schedule it. Melissa had gone there a couple of weeks ago. And um, is that the whole video that we shot or was it from? No, it was from a different it estate a different sale. One, yeah. um, and she came home with a ton of stuff. And uh, when we both went on Friday, I mean, what you picked didn't even put a dent in what was in that house. I mean, yeah, it's a lot. it was, it is completely loaded from like, there's two sheds. Um, the whole decades house is and decades of stuff. collecting, collecting, <clears throat> um, and it's just absolutely loaded with treasures. It is like one of the best picks. Um, I was picking next to somebody that I had just met, and um, I was like, "This is almost too much of a good thing." <laughs> like it was just there were so many great things. It was tons of Halloween, vintage Halloween, tons of Christmas. I mean, just bins and bins and bins of like eighties and nineties Halloween. And you were in the house. I didn't yeah. even I spent four hours in a shed that was full of mice poop mm -hmm. and chewed up things, but a lot of really, really, really good things. So yeah, well that worth it. Chewed up. Yeah. Yeah. And you were in the attic. Yeah, the the last time when I was there a couple of weeks ago, um, Basic and the same same applied this time. I just picked in two rooms and the attic. And last time when I was there two weeks ago, I spent over an hour in the stairwell up to the attic because there was so much stuff packed along the sides of the stairs. There was like um, kind of like they'd built in bookcases or shelving. Mm -hmm. And I was there for over an hour just pulling things from the side. Um, yeah, so we we spent like six hundred. So we really, really, really need our sales to. Pick I want to go back. <laughs> yeah, but we've got to really. We besides that, we, we really can't even need to move. Focus on listing. We can't even move. We are just giving you this very little frame right mm -hmm. now yeah. that looks organized because, um, well, my area down below is completely yeah. loaded with Halloween stuff. Um, you know, and we'll list it all and. Get it, get, get it moving, you yeah, know, yeah. but, um, very exciting. And yes, we do need sales to pick up, but, um, they do, they, they, they do and they will. Yeah. Yeah. So let's jump into, uh, what's sold yeah. on eBay. Yeah. So let's go through, we'll start with what's sold on Friday. These guys sold on Friday. These are some vintage blow mold Halloween pumpkin. Hmm, it's not auto focusing, is it? There we go. You get the idea. They're very cute. These sold for 12. Um, I think I had it listed for 16, mm -hmm. um, but we took a best offer of 12. Estate sale find. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, do you want to grab those jeans? Yeah. Here, I'll just list them too. Cause uh, these are, let me just see something here. Mm -hmm. These are a pair of vintage uh, Wrangler jeans. I like the, um, I really like the pocket on this one. Mm -hmm. Those are really nice, really well worn in. Are we focusing? I don't feel like we're focusing yeah, right. Okay. So. Anyway, these are really sweet Wranglers. I, I can't remember where I picked them up. Do you remember? Probably I know that I picked sale. them up for me, but they didn't fit. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so we listed them and got 25. I've found that, you know, Wranglers are kind of tough. I feel like we get a lot of lowball offers on the Wranglers, and I don't pick them up too often unless mm -hmm. I really like them. I don't know if they, they get a bad rap. Like, maybe they're not as sexy as some other jeans, mm -hmm. but um, but these were a really nice pair, and I'm glad that ultimately, after many, many lowball offers, somebody came in and paid full price. Um, I think I listed it pretty reasonably at 25 
and um, and that's what I got for him. That's good. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go next? Yeah, I'm just going to grab these few yeah, yeah. things here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, so we've got this uh, Motley Crue, mm -hmm. Motley Crue 7 inch or 45 record. Mm -hmm. And um, it sold for $13. Oh, cool. It it's has the thing, the little plastic thingy. It inside. does, yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, we got this at an online estate sale with a lot of other 45s. And um, yeah, it sold for sold for 13 I think we had it listed for 15 mm -hmm. Solid. Solid, yeah. Um, and then this is something that we picked up at the Goodwill in Connecticut. Um, this Goodwill, for some reason, has a lot of like unopened kids toys and games and stuff mm -hmm. um this one had some uh some damage to the box but it is a like a 3d puzzle wooden puzzle and um it sold for 17 dollars. and i think we're mm. five bucks in yeah i had originally listed it for 30 or 35 and it's just been sitting um i had mm -hmm. done comps and it sold for that in the past but not for us. So yeah. we just decided to take an offer of 17. We sold another lot of three vintage hair combs, um, three sets, pairs of vintage hair combs. Um, these came from a bag of, a big bag of combs that we bought for $5. Um, these are some, I, I, I so we separated cool. those into lots. I kind of grouped them with like i thought these were kind of Ooh. nice this one has a little, little bit damage, of damage but, yeah but uh this lot sold for 19 dollars. yeah we bought the whole bag for five and um we've already made like i like close to 100 100 bucks yeah. at least that's a good i good pick i am always looking for those now mm -hmm. you just found a um uh a, a, a unopened goodie yeah uh, hair comb collection yeah, yeah it's a set of like four or five different color hair combs mm -hmm. um li bunch of little small ones they're sealed and it's from 1975 or 76 so it's pretty cool that's really cool yeah. yeah yep um next is this um the art of drawing trees and uh we got this at an estate sale i had seen like i think maybe about eight of these different like you know drawing city scenes mm -hmm. drawing like drawing italy things like that so i just grabbed them all i mean we're we're you know probably 25 cents into each one yeah um and this sold for uh seven dollars and ninety cents <clears throat> nice so this, good this francisco clemente art book um from guggenheim museum edition um from 1999 just sold we got this from uh friends who donated a bunch of books that they no longer uh that they no longer used so we are in zero dollars it sold mm -hmm. for 40. um we had it listed a bit higher um 65. yeah but ultimately we we negotiated 40 and we're happy with that yeah yeah Good. We're mm -hmm. no money into it, so yeah. moving it on. Yeah. Um, we have these um, set of three Frida Kahlo um, playing cards. Playing cards. Yeah. And uh, we went to this estate sale. The person um, was a collector of Frida Kahlo like um, really into artwork, like books, postcards, all kinds it. of stuff. Um, it was kind of overwhelming. Like I wanted to get more, but I also didn't know. I wasn't really sure how much how much resale value there was. I mean, I wanted to buy everything because it was just really cool. But um, yeah, Melissa yeah. decided to lot up. These are these are all sealed. She mm -hmm. lotted them up, um, and they sold for ten dollars. Yeah, it took a best offer, ten on fifteen. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, this next item is. This came from an online auction. We had bought a lot of books that are were like advertising themed. Mm -hmm. um, Just a couple bucks in to the whole yeah. lot, right? Yeah. Are and, there uh, any pictures? I think in the beginning there is. This one is called Leo. It's a it's a tribute to Leo Burnett, who I guess was like a someone who is a big advertising. Maybe that's Leo. Person. It is Leo. Definitely. Leo. <laughs> and. Um, I don't really know who he is, but um, it mm -mm. seems like he was very well loved because his book, um, I think it's pretty rare and it went for 40 and it consistently sells for for a good, 
good amount. Great. Yep. Um, all right, let me just open this up. Mm -hmm. This goes to show that even broken items mm -hmm. uh, sell. Yeah. Um, it voids the landfill and people can repurpose it or, you know, try to figure out a way um, to integrate it into their uh, carnival villaging yeah. uh, worlds, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I guess there was supposed to be someone, there's like a foot, a disembodied foot right there. Yeah. So I guess there was another character, but... You what know, was the one who was hitting this? Oh, you know, you could put yeah. your own figure in there. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, this is a Lee Max Carnival piece. These are almost all, if not all, retired. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of um, repeat buyers in uh, Carnival and Halloween and Christmas villaging. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, so this is Lee Max. So if you find a Carnival piece and it's broken... Um, I would probably still buy it. I mean, this sold for $18. Um, you know, it's not like a huge profit. We're just a couple bucks in. We had bought this big lot of, um, Halloween and Carnival Village pieces. And so, um, it's been sitting around for a little while because it's broken. Mm -hmm. But then we listed it and it's gotten a lot of attention, but then it yeah. just sold for full price. So, yeah, you know, yeah. good. And then the last thing is actually already boxed up and ready to go. So Kelly can pop-up picture on the screen. It is a uh, vintage porcelain girl head lamp. Um, she's really cute. She came in a lot of lady head uh, figures, ceramic figure or porcelain mm -hmm. figures that we had um, gotten from an online estate sale a while back. And a number of them have sold. Um, and come to think of it, a number have not. So I'm thinking maybe about relisting those, mm -hmm. maybe, maybe dropping the price a little bit to move them. Mm -hmm. But all in all, it was still, that was a great purchase. What did it sell for? Oh, it sold for $50. I had it listed for 65 and I sent an offer over the weekend. And this morning they must have uh, gotten up and seen the offer and decided to take me up on yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some of the more fragile things we go ahead and, you know, pack up right after we list it, yeah. um, which does prevent or sorry, it does present like some issues for, for finding things because sometimes we're like, oh, I think we boxed it up, but not sure. So yeah, I should make a note of it when, when I box things up, cause I haven't been mm -hmm. doing that. And it just, it was blank in the SKUs. I didn't fill in oh, where yeah. it was. And yeah. I thought to myself, there's a good chance it's bo boxed up, but I went through every single bin of hard goods that you were did? listed twice. Oh. And so that's why I was a little bit tooty when you came in because yeah. I was frustrated. I was inside and doing I was like, something else. I, and I, kinda, I knew that we boxed it up. And I, I had a feeling. I thought that I might have, but you it did. was not only was it boxed up, but it was um, hidden. So, so I'd gone through, I'd also gone through everything that was boxed up and couldn't find it. But then Kelly saved the day. She came and moved some things around and found it. So... We good. All good. Yeah, yeah, we should definitely put that in the skew. Yeah. You know, boxed. And then maybe find a corner where we put all the box things. Yeah. Well, that We've that's pretty ideal, out. but, yeah. You know, I have great ideas, but, it, right. you know, follow through is like, takes time and <laughs> energy. Um, there's three things that we sold that have not uh, been paid for yet. Mm -hmm. Um these uh, set of two stoneware wine bottles. I have them right here. I can just pull them. Oh, okay. They sold for $10. We got them at the ReStore. Um, we had bought three of them. And the third one, I tried to pull the tag off of it, uh, the, the sticker off of it. And um, I ripped the label. Man, I hate it when they put it on the actual, yeah, like, label, a label on a label because yeah. it's kind of hard. What did we pay for these? Were they a quarter? Uh, like or 25 cents. cents. Yeah. yeah. They're, um, they're cool. They're, been... is there a year on it? Is the listing? I think there might be. 73 and 74. Right. It's these, um, they're ceramic. They're like ceramic. No. No, they're they glass. Are glass. They are glass. They're painted. Made to look ceramic. Glass. Little wine bottles from Portugal. Good for, um. They're really cute. For, like, flower vases. Yeah. And I don't know. I just thought they were neat. And I looked it up right then and there in the store and I was like, they sell. Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah. And then we sold um, these two uh, VHS tapes. We like dealing in um, 
in uh, older media. So we mm -hmm. pick that stuff up. Um, and then five bucks. Oh, sold for five. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that. Sorry. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got to talk about this listing. I, you know, you've been you've been doing some really unusual things lately <laughs> in terms of listing. Oh, um, naming <laughs> like things. You're talking about my behavior. <clears throat> oh, I am. Oh, oh I am. Um, listing some things in really unusual ways and for unusual prices. Um, like she listed this little gnome figurine um like felted and paper i think it's probably like germany and it's a little little elf or japan yeah it's a little elf. elf yeah do we have it do you know where it is i better um, it's an <laughs> elf with a mushroom and a beer it is like Oh, are you are you ready for the most adorable things? It's like so painful. It hurts. It's so cute. Look at this little guy. How close should I hold it? That's good. Oh, oh yeah, very close. He's given. He's got a little side eye, and look at his little feet, and he's sitting on a log. There's versions of these where they're sitting on a pine cone, and it really made me question what he was sitting on. But it's not a pine cone. It's like a little log with moss. And he's got a little mushroom and he's given the side eye. So yeah, I listed it for a thousand dollars. I, I don't know. Maybe somebody is going to see it and be like, yes, I get it. That is worth a million. But since you listed it for a thousand, I don't know. Are people going to question crazy. our uh, Sanity? legitimacy? Maybe. Um, Whatever. I don't know. We're too old to care. We're <laughs> Where are those glasses? I don't know if this person's going to pay. I'm just getting okay. vibes that they so might not pay. So this is the next unusual listing. Um, well, should I start I gotta to worry? Say, it was, no, it was your idea, though. Well, okay. So yeah, but I didn't list it that way. I asked you. Put them on. I'm not going to put them on. Why? I don't know. They're dirty. I'll put them on. I don't know. I'll, I'll put, put them on. on. I don't care. Okay. So I found these glasses, and, and I just thought they were, oh, what? Not bad. Do they look good? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, They're bifocals. Oh, my God. Oh, really? Are they blind? Yeah, kind of right, made me, me not, like, immediately nauseous. I never tried it. They're really cool looking. Mm -hmm. They are really nice. Um, they are vintage Brillen eyeglasses. B-R-I-L-L-E-N. I had a really hard and time finding them. I was like, mm -hmm. they kind of look like... Well, Jeffrey... Can I... Can I, can I wait, wait. Sorry. I just think, uh, I just want to explain the context yes, of how yes, it came Yes, 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 indeed. Um, so I just, they're, uh, they kind of look like brass. I don't know what material it is. Put it in there a little bit. Okay, sorry. Can see. They kind of look like brass um, and have like a black enamel to them. I just thought they were kind of cool, unusual. And I also, I really loved the case. It's plastic. Mm, made in England. Made in England, Interesting. yeah. Interesting. It's mm -hmm. like baby blue plastic mm -hmm. and it's got like, royal blue velvet inside or yeah and um they are really nicely made yeah yes. so as i as Very i was nice. listing it and filling out the fields it says what style are they and i said cal what what style would you category categorize this and she was like jeffrey dahmer so that's what i put i don't think i said it with that kind of attitude <laughs> okay. though i was kind of more like yeah, like this looks like Jeffrey Dahmer. Like if I okay. was the prop wardrobe department for the Dahmer TV show, mm -hmm. I don't know. I might, I might buy those. You yeah, know? yeah. Or like, like maybe. they kind of give off a serial killer vibe. A little bit of a serial hipster killer vibe. vibe yeah. You know, maybe but there's fine line. Fine line. <laughs> no. I don't. Know. Oh, you know, speaking of props, we had a cool sale during the week. Wait, but you didn't say how much they sold for. Oh, I listed them for 50 and then I sent in, saw that it got a watcher pretty quickly. And so I sent an offer of 40, which they took, but it's been like two and a half days and they haven't paid yet. So, and you put in the description. No, not in there. I just put where it did in. Where did you, where did you put the, it's in the Jeffrey fields. Dahmer. It's in the fields about this, about this item. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, look, look. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer. Hold it up. Here. Yeah. Look, Jeffrey Dahmer. I thought you put it in the title. No, no, no. Oh, okay. No. All right. Well, maybe there's, you know, hope but, for you. But speaking of props, you mentioned, you know, yeah. how they would be good if someone was going for that serial killer look. Yeah. Um, we had a cool sale over the 
um, during the week. And it was um, this little, you'll probably pop it up on the screen. Sure. It was a, um, a playing card or poker card themed, um, like a brass card holder, like deck of card holder. De you could, you could like put a deck of cards or business yeah. cards yeah. in it. And um, it's been sitting for the longest time and getting like no attention. I had it listed for 10 bucks, um, which it sold for. And it was going to the, the Sleep No More props department, which if you don't know, Sleep No More is like an interactive, like an immersive um, theater is experience. It, yeah. Is mm -hmm. it on Broadway or off? Broadway? It is. It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. Um, which, Always wanted to go. I think it's yeah. like an adaptation of Macbeth. Right. Right. But interactive. Yeah. So you go and you can have cocktails and you move around the space and the theater Interact performance the is, is and... happening around you. It it looks really, really cool. Yeah. It's been it's been out for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should go and maybe see if we could spot the uh Yeah. <laughs> that piece. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Well this was a fun what's old. Indeed. Yeah. Hope now you we enjoyed gotta, it. We gotta get cracking, we gotta get all this stuff um Yeah. Um, I'm gonna let you shipped. do the. I'm gonna let you do the pack and ship, oh, really? so oh, I sweet. can go down below and. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna need your help. Organize I have an appointment in a little bit, so okay. we gotta get it done. Oh my god, the the downstairs is like an absolute mess. Uh, maybe I'll throw some video of it in there, just so you can see the um, the insanity down there. It's a fun, mess, but lot. Though, oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, we always mm -hmm. have fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, thanks for having fun with us. Thanks, everyone. And we'll, we'll see you for the next video. See you next time.